and it is a beautiful new day and uh, we expect that the sun will shine and bless us uh, with every moment. Uh, this morning, we believe, I mean, as a new day, that uh, solutions should be provided to problems rather than just talking about the problem without any solutions. And so today we are focusing on the financial sector because we've realized that uh, in recent times, you know, the financial sector has been struggling quite a bit. There's been a bit of a shake. And so uh, someone is here this morning to speak to us on solution, providing those solutions, some solutions to uh, the problem. We have in our studios this morning the head of financial management and investment advisory services at CDC Consult, Babilo Mahama. Good morning, Babilo. Good morning. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great. You are great, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm grateful for the time. Pardon me? I'm grateful for the time. Awesome. Thank you for yeah. joining us. Thank you. Um, you, 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 you are very focused um, as a group uh, of companies, yeah. you know, on providing solutions in terms of uh, research, marketing, um, research, marketing solutions, organizational development, and so and so and so. Yeah. Where exactly are we um, today in the microfinance space? Well, right, Krista, thank you very much. Um, where are we? Yes. We, well, you, you, you understand that uh, we've had a lot of uh, problems. Mm -hmm. um, we are a vocation of licenses. Mm -hmm. um, the sector has lost a lot of reputation. Indeed. Um, clients that used to be served by the, uh, the institutions that uh, have their license revoked have yeah, lost have also access to financial indeed. services. Uh, confidence has waned. Mm. Um, reputation gone. Gone, exactly. So, yeah. And people are crying because they've lost they've lost their, yeah, money, they lost their money. And they can't recover recover their funds. It's, it's, it's a tough one for, 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 for those who enjoy these benefits from mm. the MFIs. Yeah, so is there is there any way forward for, for the microfinance industry? Oh yes, there is. Um, mm. yeah, we just have to dust ourselves down okay. and uh, repackage ourselves. Mm. But that will require that we all have to uh, approach this with the all hands on deck approach. Mm. Um, we expect that the regulator will play the role. Yes. Uh, we expect the microfinance institution themselves yes. to be up and doing. Yeah. We expect that the clients or customers will also be uh, able to look at this and say that, well, if we take low, we have to pay. Yeah. And, and, and the industry will be good for all of us. Yeah. Yes. If, when, when we look at um, the reports, well over 300 mm -hmm. um, microfinance yes. you know, um, companies mm -hmm. have had their licenses re revoked. Well yeah. over 300. Yes. What exactly would you... Because um, if you say 10, yes. we can understand to some extent. Yes. 20, then it gets worse. But 300, that's a whole lot. What exactly is the fundamental problem? What are we not getting right? Well, it's the issues are very pervasive. If you look at across all the institutions that have their license revoked and mm. the issues that have come up, uh, they are common issues. Okay. Um, if you take uh, the issue about corporate governance practices, mm -hmm. um, it's so pervasive. Uh, bad practices. I mean, we have people who are supposed to oversee institutions that don't understand the nature of the business that mm -hmm. they oversee. So how do they get in such positions then? And how do they get their licenses? Well... Uh, they are entrepreneurs. Uh, we have people who have their money, they want to do business. Okay. And so they Once are going to, yeah, they can meet the requirement of a regulator. They get their license. As to whether they understand the business, it's a different thing altogether. Okay. And our discussions with them, our interaction with them, some of them will tell you that, well, if I knew this, I would not have gone into this mm. business. I mean, they are now beginning to realize the challenge that they will have to do. It's, it's, the, 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 the sector is a unique Indeed. you know, uh, sector mm. that requires people with technical understanding, understanding. to do it. So okay. it has a big issue. Oh, I see. Yeah. So they need to, whether or not they have the funds, if, if they have the funds to be able to um, open or begin or start mm. uh, microfinance companies, they still have to hire professionals to be able to run it. It's, it's imperative. Uh, we we mm. can't do without that. And of course, they themselves will have to learn to uh, understand the industry. You mm. may enter it with little knowledge, but you owe the duty to yourself, to yourself. and to the institution. Mm. Uh, don't forget that whatever happened to one 
of the institution yeah. affects the entire and, indeed. Uh, industry, industry. And, and then the financial sector as a whole. Yeah, so sp speaking about that, yes. uh, I sitting here, I'm scared to even put my funds in any sort of microfinance industry. There yeah. are a few powerhouses that I've heard of that I know that are trusted and their reports are great. Yes. And so those are the only institutions that I want to put my funds in. But um, you are trying to um, promote, you know, the microfinance industry. Is this still relevant? It is. Um, Krista, it's very important because uh, we just have to look at those that the microfinance industry serve mm. to realize that there is a big gap out there. There are so many people who have no access to financial services. Yeah. We are talking about financial inclusion in Ghana. And how can we really do that without the microfinance institutions? Yeah. So it is relevant. The market is out there. And now, I mean, if you go to the <laughs> banks, they are setting up decks yeah. for SMEs That's true. to serve who? Right. So yeah, it's, the market is there. Is there. And it's relevant. The industry is extremely relevant. Mm. If you have to achieve our, I mean, financial inclusion uh, you know, agenda, yeah. we can't really do that without the microfinance industry. Industry. Okay. So now that we've painted the problems yeah. and we've painted that there, there is hope for the future, uh, let's come to your conference, uh, which, which um, your organization is, um, you know, has organized. Yeah. Um, what, why is it so important and how do we even, you know, um, take part in it? Okay. So just to put this in context, okay. um, we have looked at the issues. Okay. Um, the issue about confidence, the issue about reputation, which okay. is weighing the, all the issues that came out from the regulator's report okay. as to the causes of the revocation or the problems that the institutions have. Yeah. And so those who are left, it is not time to, uh, you know, uh, lick our wounds. Okay, we true. just need to pick ourselves up yeah. and move on. And this is a country that we tend to forget about issues after a while, that's true. We would just sit there and say, Oh, well, it's okay, uh, we have survived it. <laughs> and next year, by this, everyone asks, How did you survive? They can't tell you that's anything. That's true. So, we believe that in that context, we need to look at the issues okay. and try to support uh, the institutions to address the, these okay. issues. Now, the institutions themselves cannot address all the issues. Okay. Okay. We need all hands on deck approach. The regulator have to play its role. Yeah. The institution themselves will have That's to play their role. Yeah. We have to look at even the clients. Okay. And you, the media, because sometimes your reportage uh, <laughs> leaves much to be desired, to be very honest with you. I mean, we have uh, you mixing uh, microfinance companies and microfinance mm. institutions here and there. Mm. And so yourself will have to be part of it. Okay. So in doing so, we believe that the bar stops with the microfinance institution themselves. Okay. And so that's where we want to start from. And so we have organized this one week, it's one week conference. Oh, okay. Technical, one week conference. Wow. Yes. So we, and then the technical conferences are interlaced with um, seminars. Okay. So. So it's hands on we, yeah. at the same yes. time getting to Yes. The, okay. You know, so we are bringing in uh, technical people, practitioners. Okay. And uh, people who understand the industry very well okay. to deliberate on the issue. So. What we have done is look at the problems. Okay. And so we've identified three tracks that we want to do. Okay. So the first is that, do we really know our market mm -hmm. and the consumers that we serve? So okay. we have a whole track on the market and product. Yeah. So the idea is that we need to reposition the microfinance institutions that are surviving. Yeah. They need so to repackage themselves. The, the, the branding is key. Okay. And so we, we have that track. Okay. And then we also have risk management track. Okay. Because it's, it's a big issue. Yeah. People are doing this business and they don't understand the risks that That's they are facing. And That's so true. we are looking at that track, risk management track. Okay. And then we have the strategy. At the end of the or do we know where we are going? Yeah. And so we are looking at every participant sitting there, going back to your institution to deconstruct your mission mm. so that you can reconstruct your strategy. Exactly. So that and you come back stronger yes. and better. Yes. Okay. So we have in total about seven uh, models okay. across. Across. And yes. they are getting all of this um, within the uh, yes. stipulated Yes. So we'll be having when two tracks. 
when is the, um, the conference beginning and ending? Okay, the conference will start tomorrow. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we are starting with the first one, which is to look at state of microfinance in Ghana. Okay. What do we know? Okay. So from that point, um, you said it's for how many days again? It starts tomorrow for how many days? We, the conference will be for three days. Okay. So, so it's a each, three day conference. from tomorrow to Thursday, mm. each day will start with a conference. Okay. Starting from 8.30 to 9.30. Okay. So we will start with the first one I've just mentioned. Mm. The second day, which is Wednesday, yeah. will be regulation, regulatory framework for Ghana microfinance industry. Yeah. Then we will have fintech. Okay. and its potential in Ghana microfinance in Ghana. industry. Okay, very interesting. So and we selected key relevant. areas that we believe will drive the, the next phase of oh. microfinance in this country. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So um, if I want to part, uh, take part in this, uh, how much do I pay? Is it for free? Um, well, we have to cover our cost. Okay. You know? So just a token to, you know, okay. uh, yeah, so 1,300 per truck. Okay. So, so you choose a truck I, you want to be. Okay. Yes. How, do, how do I reach you then? Well, for we have all those out there who are interested and they would like to, you know, raise the standards of their business as well, yeah. of their microfinance institutions. Okay. Uh, how do they reach you? So, well, we, we, we have our flyers. Uh, we will share with you and okay. uh, you can put it down. Oh, well, you there can mention us. the number. This yes. is your camera, so, so, so let them know. Yeah, so we have uh, numbers that you can call if you want to get crash <laughs> because we're starting today okay yes sure. the opening ceremony will be starting, starting today today so for those and last minute uh entrance so they can call um uh, my colleagues uh, 026 okay. 265 3620 okay kindly take it again 026 mm -hmm. 265 3620 great or you can call 0244 056 405. Perfect, perfect. Yes, or perfect. did you come to um, uh, Crystal Palm? Crystal? Tessano. Crystal Palm. Hotel. Crystal Palm Hotel. Hotel. Tessano. Okay, at Tessano. Yes. That's where it's Just happening. Come. Crystal yes. Palm Hotel at yes. Tessano. Yes. Well, you've heard it from the Head of Financial Management and Investment Advisory Services at CDC Consults, Babilo Mahama. He's joined us here. We're focused on providing solutions to the problem rather than adding to the problem ourselves. And so uh, make a date with them uh, from tomorrow. Uh, it's from, a three today. Day. from today, it's a three-day event. So mm -hmm. make a date the with whole them. Week, Just actually. <laughs> A week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's from today to Friday, pardon yes. me. Make a date with them.